sorry has been using using this matilda and i feel like it's not dynamic enough for someone like keyboy i preferred someone like the Cooper, perhaps but we'll see what happens because maybe it does complement the playstyle understanding that this time around they have brought the barrets in again wow early action here there you go naomi finding a kill first blood for falcon but they actually gonna get commit here onyx esports all crashing down they find ken this time and they're going to be careful. Oh, Drian giving a kill up here to Justin. That's not what you want to do. Savior in a lot of situations. So they could play around that. So right now, Onk Esports contesting this turtle. They don't want to give it up, but another oh. kill. And that's going to be the jungle that they find. Now the rest of the team are looking to find another one on Sands. They got to be careful because of Boots there to help them out. Naomi, look, hunting again. Sans taking out killing spree for Naomi. This is bad news here for Onyx Esports. Onyx Esports are scattered at this stage. I mean, Falcon are just like obliterating them in all of the aspects. The fact that the pressure coming in from Naomi is just so... Spells for Claude. How do you think Sprint's going to work for Claude Gideon? Is that good? Is it better than the Vengeance? I think in this particular case, it might not be, but Boots, he's yeah. going to get punished. One shot. They probably know the battle spell timers, and Naomi, he is off cooldown, right? He's ready to rip. Oh, right now, they're actually already pushing on Esports down. Me Across the board, I mean, the way that they're going in for that next neutral objective in that turtle, and the way that Onik can't really respond to this, and we'll see what happens. I mean, once again, they can't contest it. So what can Onik Esports do at this stage? Well, right now, they got to be careful. Flicker going to be committed. Ken spinning around. There's a real one manipulation. CW, oh, he takes too much damage. Unstoppable as Naomi finds another target. He didn't even get a chance to even use the blade. Do it. Wow. I mean, it's not over just yet here. I, they pull back. See, even though that CW dies, it's not the end of the world for Onyx Esports. The game is still look for another structure. Can I just say, this is, I mean, silent is just being silent once again in the lane, but now the focus here. Boots going to be able to survive that consecration. Yellow flash, you got to be careful too. Going back to it. Ken not going to be able to find anything just yet. So again, Silent able to get that turret down in the bottom lane. And we were talking about him in the draft, and now it's like the Naomi show, right? So here we go. Real World Militia is going to be committed. Nothing happening with that one. I like that. The Naomi show. Yeah. Points can't even walk up to it safely. I mean, the setups coming in from Falcon are really nice, and they have the next plan. Get the turtle for free. Walk on over. Let's double check their jungle. Ken notices, hey, they have all they don't have their uh, orange buff right now, so let's try and take mid-turret too. Wow, they're just making power play after power play. CW popping the Blazing Duet, trying to clear the minions, and he does. The turret's not going to go. Oh, it is going to get taken out by Silent once. Man, again, Silent. But when we take a look at Onyx Esports, what are they supposed to do? What can they work with? They do have some source of, source of CC, but as I speak here, once again, that real world manipulation is proving to be a huge nuisance. Oh man, Boots should be fine here, but he gets thrown in the wall a little bit, but they grabbed the turret. That's what they were after. They're happy with that. And you can just see, I mean, even the tanky heroes for Onyx Esports. But will Falcon Esports actually convert this into a turret, opening up the base here of Onyx Esports? It looks like they're going for it as he gets the heavy spin right onto the turret, and it goes over to Silent, plus the turret down, forcing the flicker out, double kill, two fall for Onyx Esports. Lord's still going to be worked on here. Boots taking quite a bit of damage himself, destroying that turret. Here we go, Falcon Esports at a huge lead. Keyboy, you got to be in trouble. They should be able to clear these minions just fine. Yellow Flash trying to zone them out. The wave at top was pushed in too. But right now, Falcon Esports a very confident 9.4k gold lead. That's the largest gold lead that we've seen so far. The largest gold gap we've seen so far. And I would have been like completely surprised if you told me like yesterday that that was going to be between Falcon and Onyx Esports. I mean, 
Falcon just really transcending all our expectations. And I'm curious to see like how and what have they gotten with that with such an immense gold lead here. I figure out any outs for Onyx Esports, right? I mean, the only way is just to defend and pray for the best. Oh man. Right now, they're pushing this mid turret down. Gonna be going down here now. Looking for another one. Ken finding that heavy spin on the right target. CB CW taken out of the picture. And now they could actually be looking to get another inhibited turret. Double kill though for him. Can they defend? Onyx Esports still has a little bit of wave clear left. Meanwhile, Falcon Esports. Oh, they gotta be careful. Yellow Flash goes in. Drian able to get to the fountain to regen. Now the waves are pushing in. Are they looking to sweep Onyx Esports? And they do. Falcon Esports 2-0. They should be proud of that victory. To all their fans out there, well done on a 2-0 Falcon Esports. Really breaking the mold here. And uh, wow. it, it, it is another, it is, I'm sorry. It's a, it is an <laughs> unfortunate day. I don't know what to say, man. Wow, Falcon just, oh man. You guys go ahead. <laughs> <laughs>